Hey, Rowan. Nice to meet you. Hello. My name is David. I'm Janelle. Hi, Rowan. Welcome, welcome. Were, were you in orchestra practice or where were you? I was watching the concert. Oh, okay. Oh. So there was a concert tonight? Yeah. Oh, okay. Rowan, move down a little bit off the table and then introduce yourself if you don't mind. Thank you for coming by. And maybe some other others of your other students will be coming as well. Um, I'm not able to move myself. Huh. Click click on the screen, see if that does anything. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Sometimes it gets stuck. I don't know why. So yeah, introduce yourself a little bit. Say 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 what you've been up to, say who your teacher is and yeah. Um I'm an eighth grader, and uh, I I'm in uh, Miss Red Stedronsky's class, and uh, I I've created like a two tinky partners to help me guide me while I'm writing. Oh. Nice. Cool, cool. Say a little more. What are you writing, and what what was your partner? Um, in class, uh, we're writing about uh, um, we're writing or say something articles like. Like an, something, an article about something we're passionate about, and I created two CQ partners. One of them was called Simple Advice, which gives a few core points in simple words, like with the eighth grade reading level vocabulary, what you should change. And I created Rohan's inner voice also, and that is like a, um, it it like finds your inner voice and tries tells you how to strengthen it. Oh wow! Wow! What was that like, Rohan? Your inner voice. When you said, help me with my inner voice, what, what came back? Do you want to show it? Get? Do you have a minute to? Yeah. Curious. Um, did it feel good? Did it work? Did they get, did you get stuff you thought, oh, that sounds helpful? Yeah. It, yeah. It got stuff I needed out. Really? Nice. So I just, Jill, who is, is in, um, Drones, who wasn't able to make it, is saying things like, um, she's saying like, I like the feedback they get way better than the student peer group. <laughs> ah, um, sure. She say, she's saying that um, a few, well, and you're bringing up your, your screen, Rowan. I'm just filling in until you do. Um, a few things. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Should I, wait, should I present? Yes, go ahead and present. Anyway, and, and Janelle, just just uh, some context here. We've developed who knows how many by now, right? Um, 80, 100 um, thinking partners. And instead of using the amazing ones that we've created, <laughs> the students are like, I got this one. I'm going to make it. The first one Rohan mentioned, uh, uh, you're logging in there. Yeah, got to sign in, and then you'll find it. He, he, you actually told it. Don't give me all that positive stuff, right? Yeah. Just tell me, just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Which is interesting. Uh, yeah, this is this is Rohan's inner voice. But go to the first one first. This one? Yeah. The simple advice one. Yeah. So which did you find more useful? Let's put it that way, as a writer. Um, I haven't had time to look over my work yet. I mean like change stuff yet, but I th I think one of the things that are most useful for me is double checking facts and simplifying my point. <laughs> Can you scroll up to your original? This? Yeah, your original writing that you that oh. you're referring to. This. So you're writing about endless wars in the United States. Yeah, I, I was writing about like how the United States gets into so many wars, and like most of them like don't really affect them, like the Korean War and stuff. Cool, cool. Um, g 
Would you mind reading just your first paragraph for us? Um, you can pick almost any point in U.S. history to find a nation engulfed in a war. Back, backed up with the U.S. after taking various lessons in New Jersey, I know the most powerful um, nation started off with the American Revolution. Less than 100 years after the birth, the country fought a huge civil war. Over the next 100 years, the U.S. took part in two world wars. Without a decade of break, the country took part in the Vietnam War and Korean War, losing both. Okay. Now, now, now show the first one you did, or just scroll down slowly and let's look at what you did. Yeah. Um, I think this is a this is simple advice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is inner voice. Yeah, show the inner voice. And I I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I made another one for you. Yeah, I saw. Okay, but let's look through the inner voice one first. Yeah. This. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for zooming in there. <laughs> you can actually zoom too, Janelle, in the upper right hand corner. There's a zoom. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So describe what you got from the inner voice. What what are those three things? How do you understand them a little bit? Um so what, what I got from the inner voice is really uh so um, it just kind of giving me like really deep feedback. So like, I think this is almost like uh, the simple advice, except it's like more deeper. Like over here, just, it's just given like uh, in simple words and stuff, like just five short things that you should change, like get your side straight. But over here, it's saying it's like, it'll, it's putting it one of them and it's like, expanding it almost mm. feel free to jump in with thoughts I, I both of them are going out a little bit but okay there you're back okay so yeah, then so, so rowan i have a i had a question uh, rowan please. when you um so when you after you go through your you know your first um five five quick things to look at and then you get seeking understanding that's like a good that's like a really big idea yeah. What do you? What's your? What's your take when you get that? Your writing suggests you want to dive deep and understand why the U.S. has participated. That kind of runs off screen. What, what, do you pause and think? What, what's your response to that kind of feedback from the bot? Are you thinking, oh, okay, I'll go do X or I'll go do Y? I'm Wait, curious. Where is it that you're talking about? I'm talking. I'm just reading the seeking understanding response here? that uh, that the learning partner gave you. When you're going through your editing and you're thinking about making your drafts you know, adding to it or revising or making it stronger. And you read that seeking understanding comment. What's your response? What was your response to that? It's not like it's saying, go fix a comma. It's saying it's into inviting you to do a bigger thing. I'm curious what your, what your response was. Um, I haven't really gone in my writing yet. So, oh, okay, sure. It's We're all a, interested to know how how you incorporate some of this, yeah. But one of yeah, the things you were on last week, and you mentioned that one of the things that it told you is to to um, do some fact checking. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. and and I just explained that I, I this is something I was wanting to mess around with, so I used yours as an example. <clears throat> and what I did was I went at, went and found the what's called the Congressional Research Service, right? And it had an, an article that lists all of the wars of the United States, right? As sort of the facts of all of them, right? And I put that in to a prompt, just to let Rowan, you know, um, and then asked it again, what's accurate, what's not accurate? And what other things might I think about? And this is what it came up with, right? Did you read through this yet? Um, not yet, but um, taking take okay. a glance can, of it. Can we do it now? Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. So, um, no, go ahead. What is accurate? Um, what is accurate? Uh, the United States engaged in World War One and World War Two. The dates provided in the CRS report aligned with the common historical understanding of these conflicts. Um, the, the U.S. was involved in the Korean and Vietnam War, which you mentioned both in the CRS report as a Korean 
conflict in Vietnam era, respectively. Um, the United States did engage in wars in Afghanistan and our Iraq, recently known as the Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom, um, respectively, transitioning to the Operation Freedom Sentinel in Afghanistan and Operation New Dawn in Iraq. So how do you feel about... Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Uh, yeah. Um, what is not accurate? The text the text says the United States lost the Vietnam and Korean War. While these conflicts did not result in clear cut victories, the outcomes are more complex than being categorized as losses. Um, the mention of uh, wait, let's stop there for a second. How do you feel about that? Yeah. And what are you going to do with that? Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to um edit my writing where it says that, or like. Maybe I'll like like look in a source about like if the like the end of the Korean War. I mean the Vietnam and Korean War. Cool, cool. Keep going for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the mention that troops are in Taiwan are placed in Taiwan, preparing to fight their next war against China, is not. And that's a quote from your text, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's not a sub substantiated. Uh, what substantiated? The word is substantiated. Yeah, which okay. means it's not supported by. Yeah, go ahead. It's not sub. Yeah, by the CRS or any clarification. The assertion that the United States has been placed, placed troops in Iran is, is inaccurate. While the U.S. has been involved in the in the in the region, notably in Iraq and Afghanistan, there's not been a war with the U.S. deploying troops into Iran. Yeah, I, I can see I got a bit confused with this. Because I'm not like an expert in this stuff, so like, yeah, I think this is really helpful. Like, like you know, like kind of like a double, check, like a fact checker. You're becoming an expert. <laughs> yeah, but go ahead. Yeah. Statement in World War Two is the initial World War One is the initial cause of the Great Depression is not supported by any mainstream historical analytics analysis. The primary factors of the Great Depression were linked to economic practices in the late 1920s, not World War I. The idea that the U.S. joined war strategy in their economy to crash is an oversimplification of a complex geopolitical situation and economical results. So some of those words are bigger than uh, <laughs> you're used to, yeah? Fair enough. Like uh, this last sentence here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of the things you could do, by the way, is go to Reply AI, ask it to summarize, and say simplify some of that language for me, just to say no, oh, don't, yeah. don't 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 go there now. I'm just saying, yeah, we could, and then and then it gives you some other things. Now here's what I'm worried about, or I want to hear. I I we we're, we're, we don't have the whole story on any of this yet, because we don't see what you've done with this, right? We kind of get your impressions about it. But some writers would get this and say, wow, this is way over my head. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this and sort of just shut down. Other writers might engage. Where are you on that? How are you feeling about it? It, it does look a bit overwhelming. I, I'm, I'm going to go through like each point here and, and like thoroughly like find the place and change it or like do more research or something. Cool, cool. And you see the link there at the top where you can find the actual report itself? Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Now you just need more time to do this. <laughs> yeah. Ms. Dodronsky said we'll have we'll have a class tomorrow to work on our articles. All right. And Rohan, if I could ask you a quick question. Does um, does your teacher ask you to um, say in your writing where you got your information from? Yeah, yeah. In our writing, at the end, we cite our sources. Mm -hmm. At the end, at the end of the article, yeah. So, one one thing I, I would ask is if you if you are you planning on going to that original article or would you take information right from the bot? What's going to be your um, your choice in relationship to what you're you're hoping your teacher will ask you to do when it comes to citing your work? Oh wait, are you asking like if this is a good source here? 
Well, yeah, I was just asking, like, what would you go to the original source to, you know, read that um, to, you know, to tease through to find the information that you um, are hoping to get? Or is there something in in the um, in this response here that you think that you will just change in your original paper? I don't know. I was just thinking about like citing sources and how do we how do we do that? Hmm. What were you thinking about doing that? Maybe, maybe maybe what I could maybe what I could do is I could take like each point of this. And for every point, I could just like do a quick Google search and see if there's any more in-depth source. Yeah, do you feel pretty confident you'd find something easily that, that you could also, you know, quickly look through and get the information you're hoping to get? Yeah, I yeah, yeah I think I could do that. Because that, to me, sounds like a lot. You'd need a lot of practice in order to, to feel confident to do something like that, so. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean... Like, even though so, this seems. Oh, here's. Yeah. Uh, you you should keep going. I I, what were you gonna say? Uh, I mean, even though, even though this looks like a lot of writing, a lot of feedback. Um, the only stuff I really need to change here is this. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. The um. Yeah, and I'm interested in how you now have three different, very different sort of kinds. It's not just like, as a writer, the first one, here are the simple things you need to change. The second one, here's here's the deep feedback you're getting. And then this one, here's a fact checked against your content. You got a lot going on there, right? Yeah, three things at once. <laughs> yeah. So somebody needs to be watching you and and seeing how you manage to figure that all out <laughs> you know what i'm saying we're fascinated with 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 that yeah but yeah but how do you compare your teacher is saying things like peer group doesn't give the same kind of feedback how would how do you feel about this kind of feedback you're getting um and then and it's not either or but you're getting something else when you read it to a group of three other people in your class what's the difference and and what what's good and what's good about both of those let's put it that way so um if i have like a peer group at school the good thing is that i get like a variety of opinions i am like i'm not giving like giving each person a prompt and what to give me back like i'm not getting one exact type of feedback every time i'm just like getting like you know like multiple types of feedback a good uh like a good like vary of feedback and stuff if i if i ask a small group meanwhile for ai um the good thing is that i get whatever feedback i want like i don't like i don't need to like i maybe i already have like a pretty good start of my passage a good start of my essay so i don't want to give a give me feedback on the start of my essay i want to like my three like my core paragraphs so so that's how like ai is sometimes that's like this friend of AI. I really appreciate you sharing that, Rohan. And I wonder if you could you could share with us um, which would you hope to have first? Your peer feedback in the classroom with um, other students to get that variety of feedback, or the AI? Which would you hope would could happen first in your writing process? What would work best for you? Um. Um. That's that's a hard question, but I think for this like, for this specific piece of writing where like most of my feedback is fact checks, I think AI is I AI would be a better uh, like a better uh, like uh, I AI would be better than like my classmates since since it's mainly giving me feedback on like facts and stuff like that. Rowan, I want to ask you if you have any thoughts about what, what else you want to do with uh, the thinking partners. Have you thought about that? I haven't thought about that yet, but I guess, I guess like with, I can make like different thinking partners for like, um, like, like maybe I could create like a thinking partner for like 
each like core like yeah. core point or like big piece of advice that like most people would need like like a few things that most people would need in articles is like a a like a grammar checker a fact checker uh um mm -hmm. like a, like this is this is also good like a inner like a core point checker uh um yeah um, Janelle earlier asked about audience. Do you do you have any idea who the, who the audience of your piece is going to be yet? Um, I do not know yet. That's that's absolutely fair. That's fair. That's fair. Cool, cool. Um, some of you, some of the other kids in your classes. I don't know if it's in your class or but in Miss Stadronsu's class. One of them created a 3D pencil. Um, he asked a thinking partner to to give him the code for creating a 3D pencil, and he claims it works. So anyway, I'm totally interested in what you guys are coming up with. Um, so <laughs> let me ask you one more question because I'm totally. I it's 2024. It's an election year. Do you think about the elections at all? Or what do you think about them? Um, it's okay. I if mean, you don't. Okay. sometimes I, with my parents, I like watch like the Republican debate and stuff, but I don't really think a lot about the elections. Fair enough. Since I'm like I'm young and uh, my parents are immigrants, so we anyway don't have the right to vote. Yeah. You have a right to have opinions, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting detail, given your interest in U.S. wars. Yeah. Is there a connection there? I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. A question that um, an adult human might ask you that AI might not, by the way. <laughs> Worth noting, I think. Um, Rohan, you have any further thoughts or questions if, for us? Mm, not really. Okay. For after the concert coming on and and shedding some light on the work you're doing. Mm, yeah. Thanks. Thank you, Rohan. You too. All right. I think we'll we'll close this one. I'm going to hang around and see if other students leave the concert too and come. Um, but thank you so much. And Janelle, we'll be in touch. And David, we have a Friday appointment, right? For you. Yeah, I'm going to send out a. I'll send um, a Zoom link out. Ron, th Ron, thanks so much for coming on and um, sharing your work. It's really inspiring. Yeah. Nice job. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. I'll try. I'll try joining next week if I can. That'd be great. Yeah, we'd love That'd be if great. if you do some writing, like keep track of, like if you do some writing, also do some reflection on that and say, hey, interesting. I only took the middle of this and I got rid of, you know, some notes about how you're writing it would be fascinating to all of us. But yeah, great. Okay, right. thanks so much. Thanks everyone. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.